Well, and then there were nine. Orange County schools just decided to require masks unless you have a doctor's note. Same policy in Hillsborough and Sarasota, which means there's now nine districts ignoring the governor's ban on masks in schools. As our Liz Crawford explains, the governor is keeping tabs and says there are going to be consequences. It's the debate happening in every corner of the country. And here in Florida, the governor made the call. They should not be mandated. No government entity should force you to do that. Uh, that is your choice. Governor DeSantis outlawed mask mandates in schools, but some districts have enacted them anyway. Nobody is above the law and you can't go above the law and take away people's rights. And that's what they're doing. They're taking away parents rights and there will be consequences. Tuesday, the Pinellas County School Board voted four to three not to move forward with a meeting about a mask mandate. Board member Caprice Edmond filed the motion for that special meeting. I was hopeful that we would have at least four votes. However, I've been trying since late July to have a special meeting so that we can talk about implementing a mandate. Some board members said they didn't want to defy the governor's order, an order DeSantis is being sued over right now. I presume that you do not agree with the masking recommendations of the AAP. Uh, so what? So they're saying everyone over two should wear masks. Yeah, I don't agree with that. Parents are suing the governor over the ban on mask mandates. Their lawyers say the Florida Constitution gives power to local school boards. If the judge rules in favor of the parents, Caprice Edmond is hopeful her board in Pinellas County will reconsider. There is no giving up on ensuring the safety of our students and staff. So I'm going to continue to advocate for more policies, more guidelines to ensure the safety of our students and staff. The hearing picks back up tomorrow with more witness testimony. The judge is expected to make a ruling by the end of this week.